Yo, what's up? Name's Jetlio1, and I'm sitting here and play one of the greatest remixes of any song I've ever heard. This is Mamacitas in My Valley by D uh, Diggy Dis of OC Remix, and it is one of the coolest remixes I've ever heard. And it fits in with the theme of the commentary I'm about to attempt to do because I get off track, especially on epic topics like this, but the gaming landscape. Oh man, does it look awesome, because right here in my hands, I am holding the most recent edition of Game Informer, and Darksiders 2 is the cover. It's like, now, I never played Darksiders 1, but I've pl watched plenty of videos on it, and it's on my wanted list on Steam, and that was one of the coolest games I think I've ever seen. It's like, Zelda and God of War mixing together, and now they've got the sequel, and it, even, it looks and sounds even cooler like in the first one I'm gonna put this into a monster hunter metaphor the first game was you playing monster hunter using the greatsword and this one's going to be you playing monster hunter using the dual blade and I prefer the dual blade my first monster hunter was uh, monster hunter freedom 2 on the PSP and I went sword and shield and then I tried out dual blades and I fell in love with dual blades and guess what death uses dual sides just like dual blades I'm like yes apparently it's gonna be faster more frantic no blocking more dodging more epic scale it's got loot system it just looks great and then we turn the page into the previews and we've got Bioshock Infinite another RPG type thing and that looks good. I have the first Bioshock, but I can't run it very well. I'm gonna wait till I get that new laptop I want before I, uh, like get into it, get into it, so that I can enjoy it in full beauty without lag. It still lags quite a bit, and I have it on low. Can't handle that. But anyways, Bioshock Infinite looks good. And then turn the page. The best thing I think is in this magazine. Like even better than Darksiders 2. Mass Effect 3. I be, now, I beat Mass Effect 2 yesterday, so that may be affecting my uh, point of view on this, but I want Mass Effect 3 so very bad. And I may just be saying that because I know I'm going to have my entire crew from uh, Mass Effect 2 alive with all sorts of powers. I got nearly full Paragon, so I'm going to start with half Paragon like they did with... Uh, if you had the first one and you carried it to the second, you get half of your uh apparent er, yeah, you get half of your points back so if you got perfect paragon and or no you don't get half your points back you can get up to half of a bar so if you had enough like if you had full paragon and no renegade you started with half renegade and the second one so i'm gonna start with half paragon and that's gonna make it easier because that was that was what made me so excited. I managed to get the no one left behind achievement in Mass Effect 2 where nobody dies, and that basically requires everyone to be loyal. But I pulled it off with Jack not being loyal because in the thing where if after you complete the loyalty mission for both Jack and Miranda, you have to pick one of them, and I was already going for Paramore achievement with Miranda, so I had to choose Jack. But it requires a perfect of either morality to get uh, to not lose one of them. I was like, you got to be joking. And then you can get them back later, but you have to have perfect then to get them back. And I didn't get perfect this whole time. I got like like 90% Paragon and 10% Renegade. So I was very unhappy. But anyways, Mass Effect 3 is going to be awesome. And apparently you can drive mechs in this one if you do it right. You can steal weapons all the Call of Duty. Oh, it just looks good. And then turn the page. Another epic one. Need for Speed The Run. Basically, it sounds to me like they took Need for Speed refined it, added in a mob story, and tossed in some Mirror's Edge to break up the normally monotonous driving. That sounds alright by me. And then Batman Arkham City. Oh, I want Arkham Asylum. It's on my Steam wish list, and that's going to be... It's up there on my thing of priorities after I get the new laptop right behind Battlefield by Company 2 and Portal 2. Oh, yes, I want Arkham Asylum. Arkham City looks good. It looks very good from these pictures. And then turn the page and you've got, like, the the game, Skyrim. I'm not going to sing, no. I'm resisting temptation to sing right now. It's got a catchy theme song. But anyways, Skyrim. Turn the page, Metro Last Light, don't really care. Modern Warfare 3, getting it on Xbox. Starhawk, never knew it. Skipping that. That's pretty much where all the cool stuff ends in this one. 
But still, that's a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. I can't wait to get out my hands on that. This is Jet Leon 1, and I'm excited about my gaming future.